In today's video, we're going to do some graffiti on my N-Scale Oceanwide Plaza. Why? Because they make it like that. So if you guys have not seen part one or part two of this series, I actually made a playlist for you. You can check it out right here. I am constructing a N-Scale replica of Oceanwide Plaza in downtown Los Angeles. If you don't know what that is, it is a building that is under construction, but the construction company ran out of money and it's been sitting abandoned for five years and is now completely covered in graffiti. It, oh, man. It's graffiti history. It's so cool. But while we take a look at some of the graffiti that I'm working on on this model, let's go over a pretty hot and controversial topic. All right, so picture this. Graffiti artists out there tagging walls with their colorful creations, making statements about society and giving our cities a bit of personality. Some folks swear by it, saying graffiti is a form of artistic expression. They argue that it adds flair to urban landscapes sparks conversation and reflects the diversity of our communities. From elaborate murals to simple tags that leave their mark, graffiti has a way of capturing attention and stirring emotions. But then you've got the other side of the coin. Those who aren't too thrilled about graffiti popping up on every street corner. They're all about respecting private property and keeping our neighborhoods clean and safe. They'll tell you that unauthorized graffiti is nothing but trouble, causing property damage, lowering property values, and sometimes even posing safety risks. But let's be honest, not all graffiti is created equal. Some of it is just plain messy and doesn't do much to enhance the surroundings. So where's the sweet spot? Some suggest designated graffiti zones, places where artists can do their thing legally without causing a fuss. It's like a compromise, giving artists the freedom to create while also keeping things under control. Plus getting everyone involved, artists, residents, and city officials to come up with some ground rules to help strike that balance we're all looking for. But here's the thing, graffiti isn't just about the art itself. It's also about the context, where it's placed, how it's done, and what it represents all play a role in shaping our perceptions of it. A colorful mural on a rundown wall might be seen as a welcome sight, but a tag on a historic building could be considered a disrespectful eyesore. I have got a long way to go on this as far as graffiti is concerned. I have over 160, I almost said 160,000. I have over 160 windows to go, but it's taking shape and I'm loving how it looks. I've heard it said in a couple of interviews that the artists are just sick and tired of that building sitting empty. And they said, you know what? If the developers are not gonna finish it, we will. We'll make it something pretty to look at. But I wanna know, I really wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all the graffiti that's going on at Oceanwide Plaza or just in general. I know that this channel we oftentimes talk a lot about graffiti and weathering and I know that that's just because they make it like that and also I think it looks cool let's just be honest I think it looks cool but I want to know your take I'm gonna be doing part four of this build really soon hopefully I'm gonna finish up the graffiti and do more details on the top some of the beam structures that's exposed and some details around the perimeter some fencing and dumpsters and little uh, spray painter guys up on the balconies. The possibilities are endless with this building and I really want to expand out doing scenery from this as a core on my layout and expanding. My layout is gonna be happening real soon. I'm painting the walls this week, which means bench work can go up. And I've already started building bench work. You guys saw that. So like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this build series, I'll link the first one right here. And remember, they make it like that.